Here we have iron key. If we coat it with other metal like copper, nickel, etc. that doesn't get rust, we can use the key for a long time. The get copper plating. We need a small piece of copper, electrolyte, which is a copper compound, like copper sulfur. It is very easily available. 5 volt cell or 9 volt is enough to supply required electricity. First we make copper sulfate solution. Now we connect the key to negative side of the battery using a wire. Then we put the key in the solution. Now we connect the copper piece to the positive side of the battery. You may add a switch to start and stop electricity flow. Now let's see how electroplating works. When electricity passes through the copper sulfate solution, copper sulfate molecules break down into copper and sulfate ion. Now copper ion which is Cu++ gets attracted to the negative electrode. Here the negative electrode is the key. Then copper ions receive electrons from there and it turns into neutral copper atoms. Thus copper is deposited on key. When copper is deposited on the key, copper plate supplies copper ion to the solution and that's why copper plate starts eroding. Now this way we can get nickel plating too. To get nickel plating on a key, we use piece of nickel instead of piece of copper as positive electrode and we use a nickel compound as electrolyte like nickel chloride or nickel sulfate. These are very easily available. Electroplating is very useful. Iron is very cheap. However, iron tends to corrode and rust. So we can make things with iron to make it strong and then put a coating of nickel, zinc, chromium or tin to make it more durable and all thanks to electrolysis and William Nicholson.